Josh, I think we can see from your celebrations how much you enjoyed that goal today, running over to the fans. Um, and you've got a smile on your face now. It must have been a great moment for you. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a, it's a goal that I've probably never scored before. It came off my knee, but um, the goal's a goal and it's um, good to get off the mark. But yeah, it always means so much when you score for your, for your hometown, your, your hometown club. And um, it's just, you know, it's so exciting to see all the fans there and actually be able to celebrate with them. So yeah, I enjoyed the moment. So it's, it's the first one with fans isn't it so um yeah i can see why you ran over to them yeah exactly and i, I had some friends here watching today so uh, it made it even better but it's good to see everyone as well and they're celebrating them yeah double bonus look it, it was difficult going in at half time one nil down in the circumstances that we did but i think the boys showed great character didn't they to come back in our second half yeah definitely i think even in the first half i don't want to say too much but we um we looked like we were on top um i think you know the way we were playing we probably you know we were expecting to score maybe soon but I think even when we went a man down, I think we, we came in the change room really positively and uh, um, we went out to, to the second half uh, thinking positively as well and you know we, we had to let them play a bit more but um, you know I think the end of hour of, of the players and the uh, constant hard work I think just you know pushed us through there really and you know we haven't really had that luck um, in the past but I think it just we deserved it today um, so yeah it's, um, I'm lucky and happy to be the one that gets lucky. So. <laughs> And I, I think that the, the fans are glad it was you as well. Look, I think we won't talk about too much the decision for the penalty, but when you go in at half-time, having played so well with a decision that you perhaps disagree with, it's probably quite hard to take, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, you know, in, in football, you you can only tr control the things that you do yourself. And, you know, obviously, yeah, maybe the decision wasn't the best decision, but um, you've just got to think about the next thing. And I think that's what we did so well today. Um, we just we just had to move on to the next and, and play our game still, um, and we changed a few things at half time. But um, yeah, I'd like to to say we we were happy with that because you know it really showed our um, <laughs> desire to to do well and, and win today. And yeah, I'm just glad we got a point out of that. I think we spoke in the pre-match interview last week about how it, it's a it's a tough place to come up here, and we've seen why, isn't it? It's, it's a cramped environment. The home fans make a good noise, and but thankfully it's a nice surface which uh, allowed us to play our football because it was <laughs> it was quite wet last time we were here, but a nice sunny day today. <laughs> yeah, we had a sponge on the pitch last time, um, but no, yeah, the you know credit to them how nice the pitch is, um, and yeah, obviously you know I'd, I'd like to say it suits us, like you said. Um, but yeah, lovely day and. You know, it's so good to have the fans cheering us on in, in, in the sun and um, yeah, so long as you're on your own now, it took us 30, uh, 11, 13 hours to get up here yesterday, so um, hopefully that's a bit shorter today, but um, no, we all enjoy it on the bus, I try and enjoy it. And so you should, I think, you're going to have a sleep, obviously, everyone's seen your, everyone's seen your goal gift now, sleeping, <laughs> yeah. so uh, I think you'll have to. I was actually sleeping on the way here, um, funnily enough, but um, yeah, people know me for, for the one that sleeps a lot, so um, yeah, you'll see me uh, snoring. Um, yeah, snoring on the way back. Um, but yeah, hopefully watch a bit of the football as well, so that'd be good. I think finally it says a lot about a team when you know you've played for a half and a bit with, with ten players, and you're actually disappointed to come out come away without three points. And we, Alex is heading at the end. That gone in. I think you, you just sent the fans into delirium. Yeah, I know. We all obviously gutted that you missed it. And he, you know, it's one of those moments. Yeah, you know, it might yeah in 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 the future it might you know come back to bite us, but. Um, we know how good Alex is in the box and I think that just shows you know, what he can do in the box um, and that will be a threat for us this year I think. Um, I think we can score more set pieces as well so um, I'd like to say people can look forward to that but um, yeah it would have been nice to score it but as you said we're, we're happy of a point but it's nice to go home thinking we could have got three um, even with a man down so yeah. Finally midweek off which is always nice before a tough one next week against mm. Top of the League Forest Green. Yeah that would be really nice um, I think as I said you know, it might just be a nice time to reset, relax, and um, you know, on, on Tuesday work on work on some things we haven't been, haven't been able to, um, you know, in the especially last season with all the games. So um, yeah, it's nice to have a couple of days off, and I'll, I'll enjoy them. Just probably sleep in, in bed, stay in bed. <laughs> Who knows? Enjoy yourself, Josh. Thanks a lot, mate. Thank you.